Hello. Today we're going to read the book, The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse. First I'm going to go through and read the book with the signs, and then at the end I will go through the signs slowly and show them to you so that hopefully you can learn them and use them at home. So, The Artist <coughs> Who Painted a Blue Horse by Eric Carle. I am an artist and I paint. A blue horse. And a red crocodile. A yellow cow. And a lot of times on this page, we mention that it's nighttime and that there's stars out. Yellow cow. And a pink rabbit. A green lion. An orange elephant. A purple fox. And a black polar bear. And a donkey with polka dots. I am a good artist. <clears throat> the end, or all done. So, now we'll go through and do the signs. Artist. This is the sign for art. Your pinky is drawing on your, on your hand. This signifies a person. So, art, person. Or artist. I am an artist and I paint. So your hand is brushing the open side of your other hand. <clears throat> I paint. And then we'll use the pictures again as we do the animals. A blue. You shake a letter B for blue. A blue horse. Two fingers show the horse's ear. A blue horse. This tends to be the kid's favorite. Red, you draw a line from your lip down to your chin. Crocodile, and you show the open and the closing of a large crocodile mouth. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <clears throat> Red crocodile. Yellow, you shake a Y. Yellow cow, and with the same Y formation, you come up and show the cow's horn. Yellow cow. A lot of times for the younger children, this is a harder hand formation, so they will just touch their head. Uh, sometimes it'll be an index finger towards the side of their head. The same for horse. So those are signs to look for, and that's what they can mean. Also, again, they usually notice that it's nighttime, and this is the sun coming down, and that there's stars up in the sky yellow cow. Pink. You make the letter P and with your finger you brush your chin. A pink rabbit for the rabbit's ears. Uh, your two fingers together, you cross them over and make the bunny ears. Pink rabbit. The green. You shake a G. The green lion and you show the lion's mane. For the younger children, especially to, who don't have the motor skills to make all the different hand formations, the yellow and the blue and the green may look similar and then as they sign more and more they will start distinguishing, they will start looking a lot different. So 
green, you shake the letter G. Blue, you shake the letter B. Y, you shake. Yellow, you shake a Y. So yellow, G for green, B for blue, P for purple, and children will start with the shaking and then their formations will become more clear. Green, lion. And one little girl just last week, her version of lion was came down this way. The mane came down this way. You're showing the lion's mane, but hers came forward. And so children will have their own variation. Again, just recognize their sign for what it is and then model back to them the way they will eventually do it. So lion. <clears throat> orange, squeeze the tip of your chin, and orange elephant. And you show the elephant's tusk or trunk, excuse me. So it's an orange elephant. And children generally get this sign pretty easily. Elephant can be kind of a straight arm, it can be off to the side, but it's a generally waving of the arm. Orange elephant. And a lot of times orange, sometimes it's more at the throat. Um, the other day a little girl did red on the side of her face. Signs on the face are the hardest to place for the younger children, so they can be in different locations than how adults do them. And again, they'll get there. So purple, you make the P and you shake a P for purple. And then fox is the F on the tip of your nose. Purple, fox. <clears throat> black, a line across your eyebrows. A black, polar bear. This is the sign for bear, like you're giving yourself a bear hug. And then you do the color white at the end, indicating the polar bear. So polar bear. The black polar bear. And then the last one is the donkey. So donkey has four fingers up, showing the larger donkey ear. The difference, I will sh go over it real quick. Horse has two fingers up. Donkey has the four fingers. So this is a donkey with polka dots. And then the last page is I am a good artist. And that's the end. We're all done. Thank you very much.